Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I made this Harry Potter The Grim teacup pincushion. A while back I found a bunch of these teacups at the thrift store. I paid $2 per cup. I loved the gold on the outside, but I hated the flowers painted inside, so they were a perfect fit for this project. I used a cream colored flannel square from my stash and I used Taylor's chalk and a dinner plate for the outline and then used my rotary cutter to cut it out. I used a small plate for the iron-on interfacing. I cut this out with my rotary cutter as well. I used a heavyweight interfacing and the glue side was kind of bumpy. Okay, so to make the Grimm pattern, I just Googled the Grimm and I found a photo that I liked and I took a screenshot and then I opened up my drawing app. It doesn't matter what app you use really as long as you can do layers. Um, and you could actually just skip this part altogether and print out a picture of the Grimm. Just make sure that it's the right size that you want and lay your interfacing over it and do it that way. Um, but this is the way that I did it. So here I'm using the Procreate app I pasted my picture and then I opened up a top layer and I made little dots around the outline of the dog. Um, I made my pattern a little bit bigger than the circumference of my cup, but you can make yours any size you want. Um, that's just my personal preference. And once I was happy with it, I printed it out. Now this next part is important. Place the right sides of the interfacing and the paper together to trace your dog so you end up making your marks on the glue side of your interfacing. This way when you iron it on, your dog will be facing the right direction when you do your embroidery. Flip it over and you iron it onto your fabric. Once this is done, you put your fabric on your embroidery hoop. There are four stitches that I used, um, three kinds of what I believe are French knots, uh, or variations on the French knot, and one small single stitch. First, take your embroidery floss and thread it through your needle, and I tied a knot on the end. <laughs> this here is a single loop knot. You wrap it around your needle once and you poke your needle through the fabric. Hold the thread tight while you're pulling it through. Now I have a small knot. The next stitch is the same thing, but you wrap it twice around the needle. I think this is the traditional French knot. The third stitch is the same, but I wrap it three times around the needle. And last, I just make a small stitch for a tiny flake of a tea leaf. And there you go. Those are the four stitches I used to embroider my pincushion. I used the color black first, and here's what it looks like on the front and the back. Then I added some different shades of brown. I went back and forth on whether or not I liked the brown um, after it was all finished, and I decided that I do like the black and brown just a tiny bit more. 
I don't know, I kind of feel like it gives it more depth and it's more interesting to look at than just the plain black. Once I was satisfied with the embroidery, I took my floss and I did a loose stitch around the outside of my fabric. I used that to gather the edges before stuffing my pincushion and tying the ends. I ran the thread through the opening a couple times before knotting it up to make sure that it stayed nice and tight. To glue my teacup onto the saucer, I used E6000 and hot glue. First I put the E6000 on and I spread it around a little bit before taking my hot glue gun and adding a few dabs before placing my teacup onto the saucer. And it holds really well. Next I took my E6000 and I put a glob inside the center and around the edges of my cup and I spread it around a little bit. Then I took my pincushion and I added some hot glue and I pressed it into the teacup. Make sure that your grim is facing the right way because the glue holds really good. I placed a Harry Potter book on top and I let them dry. I added three decorative pins, one pin with a red jewel on the end that I purchased from Amazon and that's supposed to represent the Sorcerer's Stone and two that I made, one golden snitch and one deathly hallows pin. And it's done. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for watching and I hope you have a magical day.